California hospitals, the COVID crisis has hit full force. Hospitals are facing a surge. A surge of patients infected with the coronavirus, with some 7,000 in hospitals today. 2,000 of those are in intensive care beds. But what's really going on behind the numbers is a shortage of staffing. People think about beds, uh, literally mattresses and pillows, and that's the wrong way to think about system capacity to care for COVID patients. The most important uh, um, asset uh, are nurses and doctors at the bedside. So we are battling shortages. The Hospital Association is asking Governor Newsom to loosen the state's nurse staffing ratios to accommodate more patients. In the meantime, California is preparing for the surge at facilities like the former sleep train arena in Sacramento. We do have it uh, available and could be stood up in less than 72 hours. Should there be a need to decompress the hospital system in the greater Sacramento area, um, you know, whether that's Stockton, Sacramento, Chico. California has also established alternative care sites at the Fairview Developmental Center in Costa Mesa, the Porterville Developmental Center near Fresno, Imperial County's Field Medical Station in El Centro, San Quentin State Prison for inmates only, and Seton Medical Center in Daly City. The other big challenge is making sure hospital workers have enough personal protective equipment, something Governor Newsom addressed today in this West Sacramento warehouse filled with millions of newly purchased masks. 193 units uh, of surgical masks out of 200 million have already arrived here in the state of California. Uh, we have been able to procure uh, roughly 146 million N95 masks. Uh, we have 150 million more that will be coming in in the next few weeks. So Sleep Train Arena is in what's now called a warm shutdown. That means no patients and no staffers here, but it could reopen in 72 hours if needed. In Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.